And hello everybody, welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida as we are getting set for IWE Money in the Bank. I am Jimmy Bly alongside Christopher Pierce, Kyle Matthews, and our special commentary guest, Trent Dunham. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us here and tonight's gonna be an epic match. It's gonna be an, it's gonna be an epic night for sure. Great, great to be here in Daytona Beach, Florida. We have an awesome setting. And what better way to start things off than, from the, than with the head of the table himself. <laughs> I mean, you guys remember that show, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where all the kids want to get that golden ticket? That's kind of what this is all about here tonight. We're going to be seeing the men and women's Money in the Bank matches, and that is a guaranteed contract anytime, anywhere for a full year to be able to go up against any champion of your choosing. And the best thing about this particular one, it's not like the Royal Rumble where you basically know who your opponent is going to be heading into WrestleMania. At any moment, if you're carrying championship gold, that playing the bank winner's music might hit. You may be down and out, you may be injured, you may have just gone through an exa exhausting match, but you have to defend that title when they decide. It keeps the champ it keeps champions on their toes, that is for sure, at all times. I think we all have a clear favorite here tonight heading into this match, and Roman Reigns known as the head of the table. All other um, occupants better steer clear of this man because there is going to be nothing stopping him from trying to get that briefcase. At one time held the IWE Tag Team Championships with Brock Lesnar so obviously very familiar when it comes to championship gold and I mean, can you imagine Roman Reigns walking around backstage carrying the Money in the Bank briefcase? I mean, uh, I, I, mean I know that you hold championship gold. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I don't think Roman Reigns would be carrying the briefcase. I think he would have. I think Paul Heyman would be the one doing it, probably. I mean, and, and uh, Kyle does have a point. And much to what uh, uh, Christopher was saying, you know, you, you you're carrying championship gold. Let's not forget, Kyle, you are carrying championship gold heading into tonight. You think you know me? That is true. And wow, this is already a star-studded field here in this fatal four-way Money in the Bank ladder match. Here comes the rated R superstar, Edge. A Hall of Famer in his own right here, and he is a former winner of the Money in the Bank. In fact, he was the very first Money in the Bank winner. I was, I was, I was, I was every to say, Kyle, did you just say Edge and ladder in the same sentence? I mean, they're synonymous, yes. it seems. Absolutely, one of the legends when it comes to the ladder matches. Gotta love when the pyro goes off here, yeah. You know, and we've got a decent amount of, like you said, a star-studded Fatal Boy match. We still got two more participants. We don't really quite know who they are yet, because much like these superstars, you don't know who your opponent's going to be coming into this match. Except for your challengers who are going against the champions, if that makes sense. The way that our superstar tonight is gonna have a lot to prove. Um, once he finds out who the other two participants are, the first uh, first one being the head of the table himself, Roman Reigns, and we're about to see our third participant right now, and oh boy. Making his, this is debut or a return for Cody Rhodes, I can't remember, but yeah. This, I this could be. I think this is a debut. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I don't, I, even back when we were as a YWC banner, I don't ever remember Cody Rhodes stepping through the ropes of our promotion. Yep, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, here tonight. I mean, we even ha haven't even had the fourth participant come out yet, and I'm already of the mentality of, I'm going to feel elation for whoever it is that holds the money in the bank. Whoa! I'm going to feel very some disappointment for the other three competitors because so far I could see all three of these guys being able to get that briefcase tonight. But don't speak too soon there, Christopher, because we still have one more participant and we're about to find out who it is right this moment. And it That's is the king of Strong Style himself, Shinsuke Nakamura. It's a real shame that Rick Boots, Boots is injured right now. I would have probably got an introduction from him, but either way, Shinsuke Nakamura, an interesting entrant in this match. Uh, you don't really think of him when it comes to ladder matches, so we'll see how he can do here tonight. 
I'm pretty sure Shinsuke has participated in the Money in the Bank match before. I just can't quite remember when. He is the king of strong style, but tonight, can he be the king of hardware? Because, I don't know, more often than not, the stiff kicks of Shinsuke Nakamura are usually his weapons tonight. He's gonna probably have to use some of those, uh, those aluminum ladders outside the ring as a weapon. Shinsuke Nakamura is a... Uh, Former Royal Rumble winner. He had to taste the. Uh, he had to have World Championship gold, though. That's uh, the amazing thing. This will be a great opportunity for him to achieve that if he's able to win this Money in the Bank ladder match. You can hear the crowd. Really... It's a good thing we don't have Pat McAfee with us Really going along with the crowd here. I think it's clear that the crowd has a clear favorite, but. We're about to get her underway as we look at the head of the table, Roman Reigns, the rated R superstar, the American Nightmare, and the King of Strong Style. Who is going to benefit from the start of this match? And we already have an immediate lockup, and Cody Rhodes already going after Roman Reigns. Only one of these participants has ever won money in the bank, that being Edge. So if experience means anything in this match, I think it might give Edge, well, the Edge, no pun intended. No, you told me that fun, don't lie. Roman Reigns quickly out of the ring here. Like he's gonna try to let those guys settle it out here. Then boredom overtakes him. Yep. <laughs> right after Cody Rhodes. And you know, we don't he doesn't have his special counsel out here with him in this match tonight, so. And that was, doesn't have Paul Heyman or the Usos, you're correct. And look at Shinsuke Nakamura just hammering away on Edge. A little surprising on that. You bring up the point that there's no backup out here for Roman Reigns. I mean, this is a no countouts, no disqualification type match. So you would think that this would be a perfect opportunity for Roman Reigns to bring some help to ringside. I'll say what you want about Roman Reigns. I mean, he's a lot of times he hasn't been one to rely on other people. To, wow, did uh, did uh, Roman? Did Roman just do? <laughs> did he just do what I think he did? Mocking Goldberg. Jackhammer, yeah, I think yeah. it's exactly what he just did. No oh, Roman Reigns and Goldberg, no strangers to each other. His edge is knocked out on the outside. Why? Well, I thought Shinsuke was going for a cover I thought there. He was going for the bar steps. <laughs> Shinsuke, this is this isn't a normal match. Trying to wear down the legs of Roman, try to take some of that power away. Well, that's Cody a Rhodes you have to climb a ladder, so if you take out your <laughs> opponent's legs... And I don't know what Cody Rhodes was thinking there. Boy, I misjudged that leap there, and comes up empty, now Nakamura. Nakamura nice with the leg drive, as he and Cody try to get it together, just, oh man, just Cody just, just initiated the strikes while Edge, uh, on the outside, being the first superstar to bring in the ladder, and now and now he's going after Cody Rhodes, and now Roman's going for the ladder. Going back to that submission there that Nakamura had on Roman Reigns, I love that strategy because you know take and try and incapacitate your opponent's legs so that way they can't climb up the ladder. Even if they can, they're going to go up a little bit slower if they've got an injured appendage rather than they would if if they were at a hundred percent being able to fly up the ladder with ease. And Edge just deposits Cody Rhodes over the top rope, but Cody hangs on, still in the Royal Rumble. Oh, that scares me every time when someone lets go of the ladder and is just getting ready to free fall. You just Ro pray nobody's gonna be underneath it. Rolling over the top rope, look at Cody. I'm not sure exactly what Cody's doing now. Edge. Edge had thoughts about climbing up the ladder, but Cody Rhodes not letting him do it. Perfect time, Cody's distracted. Shinsuke can climb the ladder right now. And that's exactly what he's doing. Exactly what he's gonna do is Shinsuke being the first to try to try to get to that ladder and he is going for it and oh oh oh, oh with a pop right. on the oh, ladder no. huge move there by oh. Cody Rose. Shinsuke, Shinsuke with that kick holy moly Shinsuke back with his feet after that you see Shinsuke just matrix there he kicked Cody Rhodes in the face and ducked under the falling ladder all at the same time. Uh, Roman Reigns back up into the mix here. Cody Rhodes getting up. Edge trying to Edge trying to regain his composure out there. Uh oh, uh oh. Look, I'm not sure here. Oh my, oh my God! 
the ladder. I think Shinsuke landed on the outside. I think he did. I think he completely cleared the top rope. He did. Shinsuke landed on the outside. Now Roman going up to the top rope. Maybe trying to get the ladder. Oh, look at Edge. What's Edge thinking here? Devastating move from the top rope there. And there goes the ladder. Oh, gracious. That landed right, I think, on uh, Edge's left ankle. You hear that this is awesome chance by this, by this crowd, and I agree. There's been so much carnage already in this match. And as you were saying, Christopher, how that ladder landed on Edge's ankle, don't forget, Edge had that really bad Achilles tendon injury back um, a few years back. Hopefully it doesn't flare up and cost him this match. And it looks like he's trying to go on after Shinsuke. And there was almost a brief team up. But, oh, as soon as that happens, now now Ooh. Cody Rhodes, he's up on top of the ladder and he's hanging out to the briefcase. And oh, huge takedown there by Edge. Modified electric chair there by the Rated R Superstar. And again, we have to not lose sight of the fact of what's on the line here. Incredible matchup with all four of these competitors, but an opportunity to challenge whenever they want for the championship of their choice. Well, I mean, I would, I would assume it would most be for the IWA championship. think, but it's for any, ti any title that they want, any championship that they want. And Shinsuke, oh my goodness. Edge blocking that ladder with his head. Oh, there's the crossroads. Not an, not an ideal move there, but now Cody Rhodes, everybody else is out. Look at Cody Rhodes. Great opportunity for him to retrieve the ladder. Roman Reigns beginning to stir on the outside, but Rhodes starting to climb. Oh, Shinsuke, Shinsuke coming to here. Cody trying to fiddle with the briefcase, trying to get it to go up, but now Shinsuke on the top rope. And someone needs to tell our camera guy he needs to fix his camera angle here. Superplex on the top rope. Superplex for, oh wow. And that, oh, and I think Shinsuke had a really bad landing there. He's groggling. And, and wow, that's going on. Now Roman gets, oh! And oh, and he actually gets taken down by Nakamura. Onto the ladder. Oh, Edge intercepting that. He like uh, Roman Reigns is going to get Irish whipped into the turn buckle. Now with Ed, uh, Reigns is setting somebody up for a spear. Edge getting in the middle of that into a gut buster. Yeah, Cody Rhodes, well, as soon as I say that, it begins to stir. But There is honestly absolutely no telling how long this match could go. These guys all love to fight, but the main objective is to grab that briefcase. Obviously, you can't do it until you wear your opponents down enough. Wow, it looks like Roman how might be... How about being opportunistic here? And nobody better at that than Edge, the ever, the oppor ever the opportunist has been called over the years. And now he's got the ladder, knocks out Cody, knocks out a shit in Cody Rhodes. Now goes out, turns his attention to Roman Reigns. Oh, Edge was, <laughs> Roman Reigns was thinking spear, but Edge started to get up a little bit there. Do you notice this? The ladder's in perfect position, but Roman wants to punish Edge, make sure he doesn't get up very quickly. And, this, and the same the same wherewithal for each of these superstars. This is the kind Don't of match where you need to have eyes Don't in the back of your head. Edge's leg there. And both Shinsuke and Cody Rhodes still on the outside. And oh man, Roman is prepping up for the spear, and he, well, he was. decides against it for some reason. Shinsuke. Now, now Edge thinking the same thing, maybe. Cody Rhodes now back in the ring. All four superstars trying to square off in the middle of the ring. Shinsuke briefly trying to go back for the arm bar there. But now Cody now has Edge in a headlock, and now he takes him down. And and Edge is rolling to the outside of the ring to try to uh, recover. And Shinsuke and goes to the top. Shinsuke, he just jumps up the ladder. Down goes Shinsuke. Shinsuke. More than anybody else so far in this match. Oh, oh, Cody Rhodes. Setting him up for something. I tried. Falcon arrow move, Cody all alone. 
in the ring. He's going to climb the ladder now. Opportunity here for Cody Rhodes once again. Nakamura back to his feet. Oh, look at Nakamura. Oh, my goodness. A powerbomb from the top of the ladder. Now Nakamura's going up. Oh, what's Nakamura thinking here? He ain't going for the ladder. Oh, a missile drop hit right off the ladder. Perfectly executed on Cody Rhodes. And right into a German suplex by Edge. And the crowd once again chanting, this is awesome. Incredible move by Nakamura, but I have to wonder how much that took out of him as well as Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns, he's been trying to do a spear this whole match, it looks like. Oh, he tried, but <laughs> Cody caught him. Cody Rhodes had different plans. <laughs> Wow, talk about last minute. Ladder set up, Edge and Cody Rhodes tango now. Oh, what's what's Cody thinking here? Oh, look at this. That's razor's tribute. Edge. A little tribute to Scott Hall there. Nice Razor's Edge by Rhodes. Look at Roman, just the clubbing blows to the back of Cody Rhodes. And Edge is going to the top. Uh, he's going to the middle of the turnbuckle to time. I don't know what's the point of that. As Shinsuke, um, now Edge climbing the ladder, but to Roman Reigns. Now Edge, briefcase. Is anyone going to try to stop him? Cody Rose, he's trying to do what he can to push over the ladder while do it. We're fighting. Now Roman's on the outside of the ring. Nakamura just intercepted Cody Rhodes when Rhodes was trying to stop Edge. I don't know about that. Oh, wow, now Edge is in a bad spot here. Crossroad. Bomb and yet another crossroads delivered huh. to Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, and talk about bad luck there. As, as Edge was rolling out of the ring, he took the ladder with him. What is... Oh! Oh, I missed it. What happened? Modified package pile driver there by Cody Rhodes to Nakamura. Took the took the page out of my book there. I'm a little surprised that Edge, as long as he did, trying to unbuckle that briefcase. I mean, we saw that Rhodes and Nakamura were tied up for a long, long time. So, oh, and Edge looks like he's going to go for it again, doing a neckbreaker from the top of the ladder. Cody Rhodes out, and Roman is distracted. As he gets Shinsuke in the middle of a headline. But wow, that's going on. Edge is back up on the ladder once again. I believe Edge does have the most time uh, on the briefcase more than Edge. And another powerbomb delivered to Edge from the bottom of the ladder. That time, Edge had the ladder kicked out from underneath him. I think inadvertently by Nakamura. Well, obviously the fourth time wasn't the charm for a spear by Roman Reigns. Yeah, big question. <laughs> Who's gonna get the Money in the Bank briefcase and will Roman Reigns ever hit a spear in this match? Yeah, let's... Well, Christopher, I think the better question is, uh, if it does get to that point, who's gonna hit the spear better? Edge, Roman going or after Edge? Call. Going after it again, I'm Nakamura, trying to push the ladder out from underneath Edge. Cody, Cody Rhodes coming in. He's... Now him and Shinsuke are working together, good strategy here. We could have temporary alliances in this match, and temporary being the key word, and Edge, not sure what to do here, trying to hang on. Oh, and my God. To stop Edge, and oh, Edge just loses his grip and falls directly on that steel ladder. Oh, King Sasha there by Shinsuke Nakamura laying out Cody Rhodes. And Shinsuke fighting back on Edge, was going for some type of electric chair, maybe. And Shinsuke with a modified back suplex. see it they are spent how much energy do they have left in the tank not only to put their opponents away but still to make that ascent up the ladder to get the briefcase and just look at roman just pounding away on edge right now now roman trying to make everybody acknowledge him as shinsuke oh my goodness just throws shinsuke on top of the steel ladder oh look at this crossroads as cody rose delivers the cross crossroads straight to roman reigns Everyone but Cody Rose is down, and this is his chance to capitalize on this situation. 
Absolutely, the ideal situation for anybody in this match. All three opponents down. Reigns stirred. I'm not sure what Cody Rhodes is thinking here. Roman up, and oh my god. And he missed it, too. I, I, think he, I think he fell. He lost his balance. Yeah, and he landed right on his hip. You talk about a missed opportunity there for Cody Rhodes. I mean... Could be all the blood in his eye. I see Cody busted open pretty good. Now he decides to go for the briefcase. But here comes Roman. Here comes everybody. Our first Shinsuke battle that we had two superstars up. on top of the ladder. And both Cody and Roman are just digging it out. And Shinsuke grabs the leg of Roman Reigns and pulls him off the ladder. And it looks like Edge is trying to do the same to Cody Rhodes. Oh, Co Cody fell off the ladder as it pulls up. Oh, a spear! All the time, Reigns has been trying to do a spear, and Edge beats him to the punch. You expect anything less from the ultimate opportunities? Absolutely not. I don't think Roman took very kindly to that either. Well, in my honest opinion, I believe that Edge hits the spear better than Roman Reigns. Little uh, soccer going on there with a the ladder. A little ping oh. pong. Oh, a backstabber. Oh, Roman with the ladder here. Oh. Get the ladder situated, now he does. So we saw Roman hit the jackhammer earlier. We saw that, that backstabber. Oh, the guillotine. Guillotine submission on Shinsuke. We're seeing these guys hit a lot of moves and that they're not really known for. I think that just kind of proves that these guys ex are realizing they have to go outside their comfort zone, outside the box in terms of the moves they hit. Catch their opponents off guard. Oh, Cody finally hit that whatever move that was, but if this match is pinfall or submissions, Roman would have won because Shinsuke tapped out to the to, to the guillotine submission. Doesn't matter here though. Absolutely not. Oh, there it is again. Out of Cody Rhodes. Hey, if you can get all of your opponents to pass out, smooth sailing up to the top of that ladder. And no Cody one's gonna be able to stop you. And Cody tapped out that time. I'm not sure why Reigns let it go. I mean, yeah. uh, no, <laughs> basically no rules on this match except to climb the ladder or retrieve the briefcase, which is what Shinsuke Nakamura is trying to do right now. Trying to do Roman Reigns. He's back on the briefcase as he's trying to do what he can to take it down as Cody Rhodes. He wisely rolls out of the ring. Now Roman and Edge are back into a power elbow tie-up as he throws Edge directly out of the ring. And now he's going out of the ladder to foil Shinsuke's attempts to get that briefcase. Edge now back in the ring. Cody Rhodes still out on the outside. Just knocking, knocking more. I am Reigns out with that ladder. Now Edge all by himself in the ring, but here comes Shinsuke. Edge not going to go for the briefcase. He's going to try to jump, and he missed. Not bad strategy there by Cody Rhodes to be outside the ring, try and regain a little bit of composure, a little bit of strength at the same time. Oh what's going on inside the ring. Man, as soon as Edge hit Roman with the ladder, Shinsuke came right behind him with the with the Kinshasa to the back of the head. Boy, it was a, a modified neck breaker on the part of Cody Rhodes. Now he's just wailing away at Shinsuke Nakamura as Edge picks up the ladder. The cut right above Cody's eye right there. You can see it. Uh oh, Shinsuke trying to take advantage. Nobody sees him. Edge is tied up with Cody. German suplex from Rhodes. Now Rhodes turns his attention to Nakamura on the ladder. Yeah, Shinsuke and Nak uh, Nakamura are hanging off the briefcase and he just gets slammed down by Cody Rhodes on top of that ladder once again. Awesome. Cody Rhodes hit gets another crossroads, this time on Edge once again, but now he's going um, head to head with Roman Reigns. And now Roman Reigns, he's the only superstar standing right now. This is his chance to uh, climb up that ladder, and that's exactly what he's doing. Roman Reigns knocked Cody Rhodes out with one punch. Oh, look at this. As, as, as uh, Reigns turns his attention to Cody Rhodes, Edge. Oh, he's stuck. Cody's right. Cody's right up between them. They're trying. Cody's distracting Roman. 
Now vice versa, Cody saw Edge try to stop him. Roman. Edge having a lot of trouble trying to unhook that, that briefcase. Now Roman Reigns turns his attention to him. Now that briefcase is Edge, Edge, getting, Edge, Edge getting really close to it. He's going to have this thing. Is anyone going to try to Edge, stop him? Edge, all the him? time in the world here. Oh, and Shinsuke with the attack. And he, oh man. The next superstar that's going to touch that ladder, they will be Mr. Money in the Bank. And the ladder has fallen. Oh my God! What? Cody oh. Rhodes can easily quit taunting and take advantage of everybody being down here. Boy, I'll tell you, win or lose, these superstars have got to be proud with the match they put on. They're fighting hard for this, for this briefcase. Once again, with the ladder, knocks out Cody Rhodes. It's gonna climb the ladder. Co oh. Cody focused on Shinsuke Nakamura. Edge is free to get he get it. Oh, but here comes here comes uh Roman Reigns trying to spoil the he, party. He, he got, got it. it! He got it! And Edge is once again Mr. Money in the Bank. Is this the second or third time in his career? I can't. Third. Remember. It's the third. It's the second time he won the match, but the third time he's been money in the bank. It's a bloody mess, but he's got the he, but he's got the briefcase. Absolutely, in an instant classic, we got Edge, who is now Mr. Money in the Bank as we get set up for our next match here. I'm not entirely sure which match this is. This could be the Intercontinental Championship match, fellas. And if it is, boy, I can't wait for you. I can't wait to see who Kyle's opponent's going to be. Whoa. And look who's making his appearance on IWE. Yeah, if, if my silence is any indication, it is one of shock and stun. I mean, William Regal. Yeah. Yeah, one of the, uh, one of the most well-respected individuals of the locker room, the 2008 King of the Ring. I wonder what he... Uh, I wonder what he's doing, uh, making his way to the ring here. Is he actually in the match? Yeah, he's he's here challenging for the Intercontinental Championship. An amazing grappler between the ropes, an incredible manager outside of the ropes. We've seen him take on managerial roles in the past. He seems to be able to do it all. And here he comes, our Intercontinental Champion, the guy who was just sitting next to my left. It's Kyle Matthews. Think about this in two different respects for Kyle Matthews. Number one, he's going up against a legend in William Regal. So just to step between the ropes and be able to grapple with him tonight is one thing. But let's also think about the other promotion that William Regal is with, AEW, where he is coaching Will Uta, Daniel Bryan, and fellow Ohioan Dean Ambrose. We know him by, but obviously uh, over there in AEW, uh, I just blanked as what his actual John name is. Moxley. Thank you very much. So, I mean, you know, in that respect as well, I mean, that's got to be a thrill for Kyle Matthews here tonight. Yeah, Kyle Matthews won the title, the IC title, in Elimination Chamber a couple of months ago, which I believe was back in February. And now, here he is, months later. I believe this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is, was it? No, it's, it is May. I don't remember what day. I'm, I'm, I'm here, it's now, I'm having a stroke. This match is happening. All you have to worry about is having the stroke. I'm, I'm afraid that when Kyle comes back to the commentary table, he's gonna slap me for not remembering John Moxley's name. Oh no, this is July, that's right. If I have any tips for Kyle Matthews, he better watch out for um, for the, the hidden brass knuckles that William Regal sometimes brings to the ring or hides on his person. Well, you know, uh, Will Riggle will do anything to try to regain championship gold, and his target right here tonight is Kyle Matthews. Kyle Matthews has been the Intercontinental Champion for going on uh, roughly five months. If he, That is, if he can make it past tonight. I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of matchups 
past couple of months, the past couple of pay-per-views where on paper it looks like Kyle is at a huge disadvantage. Tonight might be another of those situations, but every single time he has adjusted his strategy, he has upped his game, and he has been able to walk out still the champion. So it'll be interesting to see what new bag of tricks Kyle Matthews has here tonight. Oh, look at, look at William Regal now using the ropes to help. Remember, champion's advantage is a thing now in IWE. So Kyle has, Kyle can get himself disqualified or counted out to retain that championship. But we'll have, we'll, we'll wait and see if he's that type of champion. Hasn't been so far. He has been a fighting champion and he has turned back all comers. Oh, damn. William. Kyle Matthews, and he is not letting up at all. Kyle Matthews into a collar elbow tie and he brings him down, trying to bring some damage um, to his arm and the back of his skull. I say, this is very unusual. Usually it's Kyle Matthews right out of the gate that's, that is bringing it to him, but William Regal has not let Kyle get any offense in at all. Oh my goodness. Um, Gold on the line, a superstar will do anything to get that one, two, three pin. And Kyle Matthews gets directly thrown and with the knee to the shoulder of Kyle Matthews and a drop kick, but Kyle Matthews, um, he counters it and he gets into a collar elbow tie up with William Regal just one step ahead of him. At least I'm pretty sure this was a champion's advantage. I don't remember if I if this match was any type of falls anywhere or not. I don't remember. But look at the knees to the back submission and Kyle able to get out of it. Don't believe that referee Ernest Wright is administering any type of a 10 count with both competitors outside of the ring. Oh, and look at this. William Regal taunting Kyle <laughs> Come at me. Give oh, me shot. what a knee to the head. Is that enough for William to get the title and no kick out of two? What do you think? All the different challengers we've seen Kyle Matthews have to defend his Intercontinental Championship against. I think we could argue that William Regal tonight might be the most technical wrestler he's faced so far. It's that's that is very true. I mean, this is the guy who I believe at WrestleMania we saw go up against Hulk Hogan for the Intercontinental Championship. I'd say Kyle Matthews is definitely not one to write off just yet, but I mean, look at this. <laughs> Goes for a cover again, William Regal. Kyle Matthews has not really had a lot of offense as, a, as he kicks out at two. So just kind of to tie it all together in a sense of irony, William Regal is a former winner of the Intercontinental Championship over in that other brand. He ended up winning it against the guy we just saw win the Money in the Bank Reef Cape Edge back in 2002. So talk about some full circle here in these uh, these first two matchups of the night. Absolutely. And Kyle Matthews now finally being able to muster some offense. Now Kyle goes for a cover. I'm assuming this is just to get ahead of William Regal who kicks out at one. And with only a one count. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. What? That's Kyle's finishing move right there. Is that enough to retain the championship? Just that quickly, and William kicks out at two. Kyle almost flipping one out right there. Caught William Regal unawares for a brief moment. Now Kyle, he's trying to put some added pressure um, and try to injure that, that, that left arm of William Regal as he jumps right off the top rope and lands directly on him, but Kyle's not done. And now he brings William Regal back up. And oh, now Regal with the counter. That looked like a very awkward looking headbutt from the top. Oh my God. William dropping Kyle right on his head. Is that enough to put him away? And no, Kyle kicks out at two. Talk about William Regal, a master technician, but he is not afraid to go to the next level and kind of step over the threshold to bruiser weight. Yeah. Now William throws Kyle in the uh, in the center of the ring. Look at this. Oh my God! A cloverleaf style Saturn. I'm not sure exactly what that submission move's called. Oh, oh and Kyle tapped. Kyle tapped out. Oh no no. <laughs> and we and with Kyle tapping out, we actually have ourselves a brand new IWC Intercontinental Champion. IWE. Close enough. Close enough. 
IWE Intercontinental Champion, now William Regal. No bare knuckles needed to answer your question, Jimmy. The Regal stretch is what that submission move is called, and we may see that uh, pay-per-view after pay-per-view. The reign of Regal has begun in IWE. And an amazing match. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that Kyle won't be in a targeted mood after just losing his championship. Well, he's got it. It's, it's part of his job when he comes back to this, to this table here as we're getting ready to switch gears here for our next match. William Regal still in the ring celebrating as, now we, as we now get set here. Oh, yes, this is the United States Championship match here. The, vac the vacant title as this will be just to determine who will be the first ever IWE United States Championship and uh, well Kyle you gave me your best shot but it just seemed like you were not even close enough with William Regal no I just uh, what can I say In a complete loss for words, as we now see the phenomenal one AJ Styles making his way to the ring for this United States Championship match. That's right. First, will have been the first ever IWE United States Champion. But more importantly, is who's going to be AJ Styles' opponent? AJ Styles is a phenomenal one. Many consider him to be one of the one of if not the best of, you know best wrestler out there. It's hard to believe it's hard to believe we've never had a, a United States champion. And not until uh oh. Is this who I think it is? Uh oh. It's the boogeyman. Oh, and he's coming to get you. <laughs> Could oh, it no, be? it's not the boogeyman. Is this, this isn't just Finn Balor, I don't think. Oh no, this is something much, much worse. I don't even know if AJ's uh, gonna be ready for something like this. I have no idea either. So many wrestlers in the past be able to use mind games before they even get to the it's ring. It's the demon. Maybe none do it better than the demon Finn Balor. Finn Balor digging deep into the darkness of his heart as he has brought out the demon in, um, in his quest for the United States Championship. And he is going to have to just try to just well he's just gonna have to unleash his wrath on a on a, an unfortunate AJ Styles these two are really close friends but I I don't even think AJ Styles has even uh been inside of the ring alongside the demon well, Bauer knows he's gonna have to pull off all the stuff you know all the stops against a AJ Styles and that's why he's tapping into it into the demon form here Right there, Trent. Uh, how well these guys know each other. Of course, uh, both former members of the Bullet Club. And we've seen these two recently uh, kind of form a bit of an alliance here in a different promotion. But tonight, uh, that alliance is being put is uh, being put on hold right now as they both look, look to become the first ever United States champion. Both of these, and both of them have. Uh, our former United States champions in that other brand. And this is a one-on-one -on -one match, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, I just wanted to double check these notes here. But yes, the demon Finn Balor making his entrance here, standing across from his good friend AJ Styles. AJ Styles, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to bring out the bulldog if he wants to try to stand a chance against this against this thing. And again, I know you brought this up earlier, Jimmy, the fact that now Money in the Bank briefcase holder Edge more than likely would have his sights set on the IWE World Heavyweight Championship, but at the same time, 
whoever of these two individuals tonight walks out with the United States Championship gold. Our new champion, William Regal, the Intercontinental Champion, they've got to keep their heads on a swivel as well because their title could be on the line as well depending on who Edge decides to go for. That is very true. But I'm looking forward to seeing this match and what it's going to bring to the table. This is not the first time AJ Styles has squared off against the, the uh, Demon. I saw it here a couple of years ago in a match that really wasn't even kind of thrown together at the last minute. And Finn Balor was victorious in that match. Referee Ernest Wright continues to not smile here this evening. <laughs> well, it's all business tonight. Christopher, tell me something. If you were in the same ring with a demon, would you smile? That's a good point. Well, I've asked it's, I don't... That you get out of the wrong side of the bed every morning, and then he just replied to me he doesn't sleep in a bed, so that well, conversation... Well, you also got to remember, too, he's not smiling because he knows he's not getting a paycheck, so... Not easy being a zebra. Oh, oh wow. Styles went for a cross body, and Finn Balor able to catch him into a body slam. This should easily be one of the best matches of the night. I don't know. That first Money in the Bank ladder match got um, four and a half stars. So this match is going to have to pull out some major stars. And who wants to try to top that as both um, as both AJ Styles and the Demon get into a collar elbow, elbow tie up. And Balor takes down AJ Styles. Matches have been star studded not only with oh, the wow. Stars, just in the matches themselves. And you know, Jimmy, I think you brought this up earlier as well. You know, we still have a, a women's Money in the Bank briefcase holder to determine, but it's not necessarily going to be under normal Money in the Bank rules. Absolutely. It's going to be an, an elimination style match. Unlike the ladder match, just trying something different for the women tonight. Also, just getting word too, the, uh, the uh, IWE Women's Champion Carmella is actually safe tonight as she does not have a match schedule. Well, she's the only champion that's breathing easily tonight. And what is. Oh, what happened to the light? Oh, man, oh. the line games from the demon. Tapping into that demonic power that's known to uh, settle inside of Finn Balor as he takes down AJ Styles. And he's. Uh, he is. Um, Climbing up to the middle rope now and hits him with a drop kick. Goes for the cover on AJ. He's a veteran. He's been in multiple promotions. He's one of those that you would expect wouldn't allow himself to get taken back by those mind games, but it appears that even Finn Balor is able to get into the head of the Phenomenal One who might be ready to fly. Styles going. Oh, I thought he was thinking Whoa. about the Phenomenal Forearm, but. I mentioned earlier that these two have faced off against each other. AJ Styles has faced the Demon here back in either 2017 or 2018. I can't quite remember which year, but and the Demon was successful as, as Styles goes for a cover, able to kick out at two. Who has the advantage in this match? I mean, Balor victorious before, but AJ Styles should know what to expect this time around. I don't know. The air must have really pissed him off there. I think Kyle, and there's Jimmy, no advantage. I, was actually, I think it's straight across the board, even playing field, because this time there's championship gold on the line. Oh and my Jimmy, gosh! Point to what you were saying earlier about one of your uh, one of the IWE champions not having a match tonight. You don't exactly know that for sure. I mean, whoever wins that women's Money in the Bank ladder match could actually could actually try to um, challenge Carmella this very night. Like you said. Um, you can challenge um, the champion anywhere, anytime. Near fall there for AJ Styles. I don't even think Carmella's in the building. Smart that's what, that's what I was going to say. Does that mean that if, if the Mighty in the Bank briefcase winner here tonight challenges Carmella, that Carmella's got to get an Uber all the way from Staten Island here to Daytona Beach, Florida or something? Oh, AJ Styles. Just want the crowd the... to go home angry. <laughs> <laughs> Come back the next day. <laughs> anyway, Finn Balor so right back to man. AJ Styles, and oh, he is just targeting um, his um, his body now. Now AJ Styles is back on the offensive with a stomp to Finn Balor as Finn uh, 
Connors with an elbow. Oh, yeah, swing blade. Carmelo like uh, via satellite up on the, the jumbotron there, and they could do a spelling bee for the women's championship or something. Oh my gosh! Covered by Bauer, kick out at one by Styles. Just a little bit ago, we saw AJ Styles try to get for the phenomenal forearm, and Bauer was able to scout it out and get out of the way. If we do that spelling bee, I want Chad Gable to MC it. Uh oh, Finn Balor up high, coup de gras to AJ Styles. Coup de gras. Goes for the cover. Oh my God, you have. Was that not over? How did AJ Styles kick out of that? Finn Balor can't believe it. I don't think anybody in here can believe that. Picture perfect, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Ooh, 1916. And Balor gonna do it again. Balor gonna do it again, and AJ rolls out of the way. Finn Balor has a pretty good track record. And AJ Styles has been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. I believe he's only lost two matches as, as the Demon. One to uh, Samoa Joe down in NXT and another one to Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules last year. Yeah, I did a very bad circumstances. Incredibly stupid circumstances. Yeah, I was, I was at that event in person. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. We're not going to get into that. Got it. <laughs> AJ holding on. Again, no count out by the referee. Oh my goodness. Well, what's Finn thinking here? Well, I thought maybe he was going to go to the top rope. Again, Finn. No here. You see AJ Styles on the outside, but Ernest Wright not even bothering to, to count. Finn being a respectable person. Oh my gosh, the brain buster. Theoretical question here, but Jimmy, you brought up about, you know, champion's advantage. Is there really a champion's advantage when the opponent has all that ample time on the outside to be able to regroup uh -oh. and recover uh -oh. with no counters? AJ Styles. Oh, for the phenomenal forearm. I don't know if he hit it or not. I think no, his knee caught him. His, his knee caught Finn in the side of the face. He didn't he hit was, the floor. Hey, uh, Finn was too close to the rope, I think. He just couldn't get a good position on him. Well, he's going to try it again. Right now. Phenomenal forearm. Oh, that might be it right there. Referee okay. running, running into position. Is that going to be enough? And it is. And we got three. AJ Styles is the, yes, you could say new United States champion. We didn't have one, but it was <laughs> vacant had it before. AJ Styles taking his brand new IWE United States Championship and showing off to the crowd. He has conquered the demon. Competitions back there in the truck. How many days does AJ Styles have to hold the title to beat Bacon's record? Oh, that's a good point. And in a four-star amazing match, AJ Styles is your United States Champion as we begin to switch gears here for the. Tag Team Championship match. We talked about earlier why uh, how we didn't see any of the Bloodline out to help Roman Reigns in this match. Well, it's because they were busy preparing for their for their Tag Team Championship match tonight. Well, there you go. And here comes Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens making his way down to the ring. A former, uh, a former Universal Champion, a former United States Champion. Now he's looking to add Tag Team Champion to that resume here tonight for the IWE. Well, here's the question. Well, go ahead. I'll get to my point after. Here's the question: Is who's his teammate? Who did he pick for his teammate? I mean, I know who I want his teammate to be. I don't know what it is with upper management here in IWE. I've been trying to lobby for uh, for Ken Owens to be able to get a contract, but uh, they keep shooting it down. Yeah. <laughs> I got. Well, we're about to find out. Wow. Are we, we surprised? Are we surprised? Come on. Did these two make up their minds? Are they friends? Are they enemies? <laughs> Are they what? They're frenemies. Oh, oh, Mr. Anybody... Mr. Conspiracy Theorist himself, 
Mr. Insane Sammy Zane. I don't think anybody on the current roster has more history with one another than, than Kevin Owens and Sammy Zane. <laughs> Not at all. And it, does, it doesn't even stem in. That's the relationship these guys have. Yeah, it doesn't even stem in IWE. It goes out to the independent circuits as well. Sami Zayn, formerly known as El Generico. That was a long time ago, but he might have to dig into that history as he teams up with his good friend KL to take on the Bloodline um, here tonight for those Tag Team Championships. But don't forget the Usos, they're, they're not, they're not uh, a team to... to um, Lance over. They're the tag team champions for a reason. I'm going to throw something out to you here about, you know, questioning the chemistry of these two. I mean, we question the chemistry based off the rivalry of Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, and they were able to get tag team championship gold. That is true. I mean, and those two had never even been a team before, but you look at Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they have been, a t you know, they have been like we mentioned, they've been allies before, they've been enemies, they're back to being allies, and they'll probably be enemies before too long, knowing these two, but... So there is, there is some chemistry, but, you, but, but when you, if you want to talk about chemistry, look right there. The Usos, probably one of the most dominant tag teams we've seen in the last 10 years. This is going to be this is going to be quite the battle for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah, we saw the head of the table, Roman Reigns, earlier on tonight, unsuccessful in capturing the Money in the Bank briefcase, so you have to wonder what words of motivation he might have had here for his cousins to make sure that the bloodline at least the is bud going line. to... The bloodline? That, yeah, that too. Is going <laughs> to leave Money in the Bank still with championship gold around their waist. Oh no, I just thought of something bad. That should be RK Bro's new new, uh, new new tag team name, the bloodline. <laughs> the bloodline. <laughs> No, I wasn't a beer reference. I was just thinking, oh, I don't know if we get sponsored by Budweiser now. No, it wasn't a beer reference at all. <laughs> Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn on one side, and the Bloodline on the other. Oh, I okay, I have if, a question uh, for my colleagues here tonight. I don't know if Which Matt Riddle's in the beer. Is going to eat a hell of a kick first from Sami Zayn. Ernest Wright. Yes. Yep, I, I agree. <laughs> Maybe he can kick a smile onto his face. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. I noticed this the uh, I noticed this right before my match with William Regal, but there is a guy in the crowd wearing a shirt that says I'm not like most folks. I, I don't know. I, just and now we know it. why you lost your title. <laughs> I, I was confused the entire time. Look at KO going straight for a cover. Okay, so is this a tornado tag match? This is, yes. At the same time. This is IWE Tornado yep. IWE Tornado Tag Team Style Wrestling here. No traditional tag matches unless well, actually it is no traditional tag matches because they take way too long. Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens is Kevin own version Owens, of the uh, running man. <laughs> Kevin Owens thinking he was on a treadmill it looked like. Uh, I think he's Usain uh, Bolt. I think Kevin Owens had a stroke. What, but back to your question on like a, you know the, the roles of this match is one of the useless of our cover. I can never tell these two apart. But why do we continue to call this a tag team title match if there's no tagging whatsoever? It don't matter. It's the same. It's two on two. Why do we not know these two apart by now? One of them is not the other one. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> no one even, no one even got my reference back in the first match when Shinsuke came out. Right yeah. <laughs> Please, I believe the one that, uh, the one that Sammy is, is on right now is Jimmy Never Uso. I believe. Well, I'm not gonna yeah. argue with you. Yeah. Oh, look at Jay Uso with the nice Hurricane Rana there. Referee's been, referee's gonna need a neck massage at the end of this match with the way he's been moving his neck around all time. And oh, a super kick right to the face of Kevin Owens while Sami Zayn is going to the outside, but Sami counters and he is gonna head himself back in into a elbow tie up. Kevin Owens 
Sami Zayn trying to join the ranks of the Usos, the New Day, Brock Lesnar, and Roman Reigns. We've had a lot of very cover. interesting There's a cover by champions. one of the Usos, and Ernest Wright was a little bit Splash, and the splash on KO goes for the cover. I believe that's Jay Uso and Kevin Owens, and Owens kicks out at two. I've noticed here, you talked about distractions earlier, Kyle. These Tornado Tag Team matchups seem to really be distracting to Ernest Wright. I can't tell you the number of times in these matchups that he has been very late to covers. Yeah, we've seen him kind of run around, not really know what position to get in. And who knows, if it wasn't for that hesitation, this match may have been over already. Jimmy Uso to the top rope now. Goes for a splash on Sami Zayn. KO's distracted over there in the corner, and the Usos retain. Kevin Owens not oh. happy about that. I don't even think KO knew what was going on. I KO didn't know what was It was a rather quick match as the Usos make a easy work for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Absolutely. That was very quick, very efficient by the tag team champions. I mean, the Usos have to be dominant now that Roman failed to capture the money in the bank. They have to represent for the bloodline. Extra motivation there. Absolutely, now we're getting ready to switch gears here to our, to the, uh, I can't really say the main event, but it's the IWE Championship match here tonight. Now we all know IWE Champion Big E, but who's his opponent gonna be tonight? That's going to be the question. No oh boy. Wow. Oh, He's going to have his hands full here. Former world champion, two-time world champion, Drew McIntyre. Well, the band's had, in hand. We had legendary announcer Jim Ross alongside us here. He'd have called this a slobber knocker before the first punch was even thrown. Oh, it's going to be a slobber knocker here. Yeah, this <laughs> Business is about to pick up. By God, Drew McIntyre with his Claymore, named after his light color as he will make his way down onto the ring, challenger for the IWE Championship. How was that? Yep, there you go. Drew McIntyre, the only McIntyre I've ever known that hasn't eaten mac and No, no, why? <laughs> oh, yep, there it is. Why? <laughs> well, there's another certain McIntyre that's fascinated with mac and cheese, but that's but that's a story for another day. Anyway, as McIntyre will make his way into the ring, awaiting the IWE champion. Very impressive to know that Big E took the IWE championship away from Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. I believe it was at WrestleMania Backlash. I want to remind everybody watching, keep this in the back of your mind. The positioning of this matchup taking place after the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We know who holds the briefcase. If this match goes long enough or if the winner ends up being injured or exhausted, we may end up hearing the Rated R Superstars music hit one more time before the night's over. What do they call Ed? Ed the ultimate it opportunist. It absolutely won't be the first time that Edge has cashed in on someone like that. Absolutely. <laughs> Very nice to see Big E here in competition, especially holding the championship title. I'll tell you what, if I was Drew McIntyre and I was able to win the, able to win the title here from Big E, I'd have taken my sword into the ring just in case that came out here. <laughs> Yeah, but then that would have been the cutting edge. Yes. Wow. That's all I got to say. <laughs> That's all you have to say. <laughs> it definitely is. Ernest Wright. Ernest Wright just looks upset. He's just mad at the world. <laughs> He's not getting a paycheck. I'd be mad at the world, too. Well, then why does he keep showing up? Because he's volunteered for this. He's not part of the union. He's not obligated to be here. We're not a union. Yeah, when did that happen? Biggie being introduced to the crowd, holding the title up. 
<laughs> Jimmy, wake up. The match hasn't even started yet. Sorry, I'm worn out after all this action tonight. I love how Drew McIntyre, he didn't even look at the championship. He kept his eyes fixated on Big E across the ring. Oh, he's got to stay focused. Oh, that's focused. That's laser focused. Okay, well now the million dollar question is, is Big E going to eat a Claymore to the face or is Drew McIntyre going to eat a big ending and lose this match? But, but Drew McIntyre already on the offensive as he is just pounding away on Big E. Yeah, the potential to see two title changes in one match. McIntyre going to the top rope. We don't see him do that very often. Big leg drop. No, not at all. Right out of the gate, too. A lot of aggression from Drew McIntyre. Here's a cover already. He got out one by Big E. He, the early going, maybe taking a little bit of back, just getting flung around the ring, and now the ground and pound by Drew McIntyre. I think Drew McIntyre might be thinking, you know, he knows Edge isn't Edge is back there with that briefcase. He, he might be thinking, you know, God, move this match, make try and make quick work of uh, Big E just in case Edge tries to cash in. Twice, Drew McIntyre just picked up Big E and threw him across the ring. Now look at Big E going to retaliate. Yeah, let's not count out Big E either. Big E with some early body damage here as he's trying to work on the neck of Drew McIntyre. Goes for the pin now. Ernest Roy in proper position. Gets a two count. Yeah, nowhere, yeah, nowhere near enough to put away McIntyre. He's gonna have to do a lot more as McIntyre now hits him with strikes and a kick. And he actually gets caught by Big E and taken down. Big E moving McIntyre away from the ropes now. Big E gonna do this. Big slam. You guys know I always have those little hidden gems of information, right? Well, we've got Big E. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Big ending. Big ending already. On McIntyre, Big E gonna try to end this early. And he did. And I don't get wow. to bring up my point. Down <laughs> after one big ending. Must have been a large ending. <laughs> God damn it, Kyle! <laughs> Climatic ending. Yeah, there you go. That was better. Did I mention I hate all of you? Considering how quickly that match ended, I don't think Edge is gonna um, oh. uh, try to catch the money in the bank. And yes, wisely not coming out to challenge. These guys, that's the same game by plan. Tangy Pickle. It's not, it's not a pickle if it's not Tangy. Both of these guys had the same game plan. Try to end it quickly, save their energy, and prevent a cash in. Now, speaking of money in the bank, it's time for the women's match. And here comes Lacey Evans. And is this the main event of the evening? This is. This is the main event. And yeah, that other brand can't seem to figure out what to do with Lacey Evans, what brand she needs to be on, face or heel. We know what she is here in IWE. She's one of the competitors for the Money in the Bank briefcase. And I'll tell you what, I, I don't know if I'd want to be Carmella and have Lacey Evans walking around backstage with that briefcase, knowing that at any moment you might have to face off against her. The sassy Southern Belle makes her way into the ring, and she is indeed stupid. Don't let that smile fool you. She is a very dangerous competitor, and she she's will a, not. She's a and she will probably be the she's most dangerous in this Money in the Bank match. You don't want to mess with a Marine now. Imagine the women's right to the face of the most beautiful woman in WWE. Corey Graves over there would have a heart attack. <laughs> I know. And if I, I can do it. it is boss time. You know, somebody. Uh, I was about to do it myself, trying to beat me to it. Sasha Banks, a former women's champion in her own right, multiple time. I'd love to reach that pinnacle again here in IWE. I don't think she's held the IWE women's title. But... Now, real quick, I, I, we know that this is the women's money in the bank match, right? So, where's the money in the bank briefcase? You know, I never even thought of that. Uh, Christopher, do you see it over there somewhere? I do not see it. 
I, I'm assuming that it's probably it's over in the Titan Keepers area yes. and it's just gonna get it. Yeah. Just remember, this, this, yeah, no, this, this is in the the ring belt is a belt belt that yeah. <laughs> stop have it <laughs> oh wow talk about it here's a debut for you raquel you what, gonzalez I've, i have followed her career in nxt raquel gonzalez one of the powerhouses of the women's division Take a look here, guys, because we may end up seeing her with a Money in the Bank briefcase before the night is over. I think she's oh, going to be... If they can find it. Well, that true. That too. I, I can't talk. Help! Try to show these veterans how, how it's done. One of the young, inspiring rookies here in the IWE. No, Kyle, it's, it's, it's sad. You're able to make legible sentences, and you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with William Regal. I've been sitting here behind the camera. Hey, 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 Trusty, I know how you feel right now. You put three beautiful women in front of me, I, I do the same thing. <laughs> Trent only wishes it was one specific person out here in front of him. Yes, but I don't think she's even competing tonight, so I will take what I can get as we have our next event. Oh, look! Oh, oh, oh. Like Bailey, so like her shot. I think Bailey. There's the money Whoa. Bank, okay? What's Bailey doing with it? Oh, my declaration that she's already the Money in the Bank winner, and she just certainly looks like it. Hey, we all know how cocky Bailey has been. You asked where the briefcase is. Well, we have our answer. And how did Bailey? How did they let Bailey get a hold of it? Well, I want to know. Did they even know that Bailey got a hold of it? That, that's a good question. I have no idea. Bailey's already declaring herself the winner of the match before the match has even started, but that's Wait. but that those are pretty uh, those are pretty big actions, but can she back the boat? More importantly, who else is in this match? Ever since we saw a change in character for Bailey like the last couple of years, she has never lacked confidence. Oh wow! Someone from start entry here, Kaylee Ray, making her IWE debut. NXT UK. Former NXT UK Women's Champion. One of the longest run, maybe the longest reigning champion in that brand's history. I'm not too familiar with it, but I know she had quite a run. Well, no aluminum ladders outside the ring in this Money in the Bank briefcase matchup, but... Remember, this was an elimination. I was gonna say though, I'm surprised that Kaylee Ray didn't bring some aluminum of her own. We usually see her walking around with the baseball bat. It is baseball season after all, but no, Kaylee Ray coming in here without the bat. And I do believe we have one more entrant uh, about to head to the ring. Who is the final uh, participant in this Women's Money in the Bank ladder match? Well, the problem is I don't remember if there is one or not. I think I might have just had five. Yep, it was just five. Okay. Five. It's a five-pack challenge. Five-pack challenge. Guys, what do you think? I mean, we saw the men earlier on tonight have to climb a ladder to get the briefcase. Elimination-style rules here. Would these women be disappointed or glad that we're having this type of a matchup instead of a traditional Money in the Bank mat ladder I think match? They're, I think they're more than happy to take the elimination-style match and not... You know, endure as much punishment as we saw in a, as we see in a regular ladder match. And what is Bailey doing here? Just He's pulling the Kevin Owens. Yeah, right. Yep. And I think Sasha's just enjoying this. Ding dong, hello, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> now this isn't an over the top rope style match either. This is a pin submit elimination style match. And anything goes too. So. No disqualification, so these women can pull up all the stops that they need to. Look at the strength of Raquel Gonzalez. How many times have we said that while watching NXT? Hey, Kyle, remember we were talking about the friendship and then the enemies relationship with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? We've kept Bailey and Sasha Banks in here. So I yeah. think we may see some temporary alliances, but they aren't going to last long. I was just thinking the same thing, uh, you know, <laughs> the on again, off again, friendship, enemies, whatever it is between Bailey and Sasha Banks. Just like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and now see Raquel Gonzalez setting Lacey Evans up into the tree of woe. Kaylee Ray, 
Ray and Raquel Gonzalez, they know each other very well. They were teammates at one point in uh, one of the NXT War Games. I uh, I don't know what Bailey just did to, uh, I believe that was uh, Kaylee Ray, but she can do that to me anytime she wants. Okay, well, uh, moving on. Maybe this matchup should have been represented or brought to you by Tangy Pickle. Who knows? <laughs> when it comes to Alexa Bliss or Liv Morgan, I think that Jimmy Blind just took it to a whole new level. But we see Bailey and Sasha going at it here. Nice shot block there by, by Sasha. That gets you 15 yards. This is a football game. But... Okay. Okay. So okay. So I just noticed a point watching. This match is this an, an elimination style match? Yes, yes, this is. Oh, wait, right, okay, already have Lacey elimination. Going for the first pin here and a kick out from Sasha. Oh, Sasha down now. Let's see what Sasha. Nice move there by Sasha Banks. Goes for the cover. Is it going to be enough? No, kick out at two. There Only both times the covers took place. Bailey more than willing to stand by and watch. Uh oh, it. uh oh. Backstabber. <laughs> And the bank statement, the bank statement on Bailey. Bailey, you came out with the briefcase. You made a statement. Don't be the first eliminated. Oh, look at the cover. The cover. Ernest Wright, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Count. One, two. Wow. I think that was mesmerized by something wow. there. Sasha was down for at, for at least a five count. It's, it's today leg day. Like, good lord. <laughs> Sasha playing in here with Lacey Evans in a really bad spot. Goes for the cover on Bailey. Goes for the cover. Sasha does. That, that's a put Bailey. Only one of the women in this match is a former Money in the Bank winner. That was Bailey. Yeah. Oh, look at the splash there by Sasha. There's always one. There's a. There's an odd woman out. Oh my God! I don't know. Covered by Cover. Bailey Ray. Is that going to be enough? Our first elimination, maybe? Yes, it is. Wow. That's wow. Huge. Raquel Gonzalez is the first woman eliminated. The strong, probably the easily the strongest woman in this match is the first one out. So everybody's going to be breathing a sigh of relief with that. Yeah, but Lacey Evans. Oh my God! Bailey to belly. The top rope. Cover. Two. That's. That's on Sasha Banks and a kick out at two. Oh, I look believe. at Lacey Evans now going after going after Sasha Banks. Trying to pull the arm out of the socket there. You're ever so cocky, Bailey, as always. I think it was. I think that was Sasha. How? How did she kick out of that? Yo, know, let it be known that the women's right is basically Big Show's kick knockout punch. This, oh my god, I've never seen Lacey Evans do that before. That was effective. Okay, here comes Bailey now. That was oh my god, another women's right. Ernest Wright has to do a lap around the ring before counting, and Bailey's eliminated. Well, Bailey tried to call her shot. She will not walk out with the money in the right three cases. I don't think she will. She might try to. But... Look at Kaylee Ray just uh Taking it easy there in the corner, Sasha, Sasha Banks seeing it's that. It's awesome. It's three beautiful women in the ring. It's hard to talk. <laughs> Uh-oh. With Bailey eliminated, I mean, we're, we're automatically guaranteed a, uh, a brand new Money in the Bank winner. <laughs> That's true. In her own right. So Bailey classified herself as already the Money in the Bank holder before the match even began. Statement. And Sasha Banks takes down Kaylee Ray and gets her into a... Um, into a cross face, I believe. Oh, look at the wrenching. Look at the wrenching. Oh, she didn't tap. She didn't tap, but did she pass out? I think she did. I think Lacey she Evans is recovering. Did no. she pass out? The pin. We got two and no. A kick out at two. No, she figured she couldn't make her submit, so she decided to try to pin her instead. Kaylee Ray showing a lot of resilience. Lacey Evans wisely biding her time as she's just now getting back into the ring. And oh man, uh, oh man, a little bit of a double team in there between uh, Kaylee Ray and Lacey Evans. Wait, was this always a triple? <laughs> what happened? I feel like I had a stroke. I feel like there was a fourth person there, but I don't know what happened. What? Bailey got eliminated, or where were you? Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I, like I said, I felt like I had a stroke there for a second. I might have. 
IWE has no medical staff, so if I die... Asha Banks and Lacey Evans going at it. Kaylee Ray just waiting for her time here. No, if we had medical staff, I would have made sure that Ernest Wright got, like, plastic surgery to have a smile. Let's put a smile on that face. Nice, clo nice close line there by Banks is enough. Only a one count on Lacey Evans. But Lacey Evans, I think right now, out of these three competitors, is the freshest. Uh-oh, well, not for much longer. Into the bank statement, can you get that yes. statement? <laughs> bank statement on to Lacey Evans. Will Lacey tap out? That'll be the question. She's fighting it as best she can. I'll go oh. for the cover. Is that going to be enough? Only a one count. Lacey Evans and Sasha Banks <laughs> Ray's on the outside recovering. And Sasha Banks going for the pin on Lacey Evans. And she actually she gets the three her. count. And we're down to two. Sasha Banks and Kaylee Ray take your pick. I might use on the one with long hair. That's a good pick. <laughs> yeah, but which one uh yeah, but which uh which one of their hairs is natural? Well clearly Sasha's. I mean, come on. Yeah. I've I'm pretty sure that Kaylee Ray's hair is purple. Goes up to the top and a frog splash there to Kaylee Ray. Give it to Eddie Guerrero. Is that going to be enough? Sasha Banks going for her third pin here tonight. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I thought that was two and a half. It does not get any closer than that. Kaylee Ray that is good. hanging in there. She is not giving up. Oh, I'm not sure what Sasha is thinking here. Oh, right into the bank statement. Not even a back statement. Right Just back right into the, the bank statement that Sasha goes. Can Kelly Ray hang on or will she tap? Look at the wrench. And she tapped out. Sasha Banks. The boss is Miss Money in the Bank. Showing complete dominance. I believe she eliminated three of she the did. three of the five women in this the match. The only other one that made an elimination was Kaylee Ray, and she was one of the last two. Absolutely. Sasha Banks has the moniker. She will have the briefcase with her. Absolutely incredible. And from Daytona Beach, Florida. From Daytona Beach, Florida, thank you guys so much for watching. Trent, Christopher, Kyle, we'll see you guys for the next pay-per-view.